What's up everyone? Mecha Ish here. And I want to welcome you to another review. We're going to be talking about Marvel Legends, Spider-Man Legends, Absorbing Man, Build-A-Figure Wave, Superior Foes of Spider-Man, Beetle. Let's do it. Boom. As you can see, quite a mouthful there. Marvel Legends, Spider-Man Legends series, Build-A-Figure Absorbing Man, as you can see there. Beetle. Marvel Spider-Man Superior Foes of Spider-Man. So let's take a quick look at the box, the front of the box here. Looking great in the window packaging. So if you did not want to open the figure, just wanted to keep them displayed, it's a great option here, right in the box, the window packaging, the Absorbing Man's right leg. Looking pretty sweet. Let's turn to the side. And we see Speed Demon, her mate here on the Superior Foes of Spider-Man banner. Also part of this wave. And we see the back here. Let's go down to the rest of the wave, which we'll be getting into to build that awesome Absorbing Man. And look at this awesome picture here of Marvel's Beetle and Marvel's Speed Demon. Obsessed with personal glory, these super-powered anti-heroes fight for any team that gets them ahead. And there goes Beetle. All right. Well, let's open this Beetle up. Let's see what she's all about. And here we go. Marvel's Beetle outside of the box window packaging. Very nice sculpt. Going down, you see she comes with her translucent wings, two of them, one for each side. And she comes with Absorbing Man's right leg, which I cannot wait to show you guys in a few videos. So stay tuned. I can't wait to put the rest of this guy together. We'll put that aside for now. Let's go back to Beetle. So looking very cool. And I'm going to turn around so you can see the back. Get a 360 view here. Let me center it. I'm very bad with the camera work. I'm sorry, guys. Working with a little bit here. Very cool. Scan down. I cannot stand when they put those numbers and serial numbers at the back of the thigh. It totally messes up the paint. But whatever. That's been a complaint for many years. And it doesn't look like it's going to change. But it's in the back of the figure. So I guess we just have to take it. But uh, let's put her together. Let's put those wings on. And let's pose her a little bit, huh? All right. All right. Here we got Beetle all winged up. Translucent pink wings. The, these wings are the same wings we saw with Wasp and uh, the Ant-Man wave not too long ago. And I just love this sculpt. Very nice sculpt. You know, Marvel Legends, a lot of toy companies reuse sculpts and they, they make it work for what they have. And I don't care if it's reused, you know, for such an obscure character like Beetle. I'm very proud to have it in my collection. And you can see here the wings from the back look very nice. The detail, the the, the little, what do you call it, the veins, the little wrinkles on the wings. And you can see the the hinge on the back. The, the peg goes into the peg holes on each side of her back. And she has a hinge here. Uh, so she can flap her wings. But I'll show you that in a little bit. It's kind of hard right now with this camera. Now let's take a quick look at the head sculpt, which I like. Little old school Wolverine head sculpt there, right guys? But as you can see, I'm not too happy with that splotchy paint. Let me focus in there. Focus. Focus. I'm not focusing. There we go. But yeah, look at the, you see how that's, that splotchy spillover of that metallic purple paint right on top of the head. I don't think she wanted it to look that way. So, you know, every now and then you're going to get some uh, paint issues with these legends, which is unfortunate. But uh, if you do happen to uh, pick them up in the toy aisles, what I always do is I always try and pick the best one. The best box, if I want to keep it in the box, also the best figure. And with these window packaging, you can, you know, see if the paint job is a little off and pick the best one. Let's scroll on down. And you see the, you got the green, you got the lavender. The, the purple and got that marbleized thing going on here that we've been seeing a lot with all their figures pretty much. It started with like the old Iron Man, right? In the Iron Man wave a while back. You can kind of, I don't know if it's, it might be a little hard uh, to see, but you see in the purple on her thigh, you can see kind of a, a little marble effect going on there. But it doesn't look too bad. I like it. Gives it that metallic look, a little sheen to it. Alright, got those yellow eyes, 
Very cool. Very cool. Very proud to have her in the collection. Didn't expect her. You know, we had a beetle in the Spider-Man Classics wave. That was the male beetle. I think his name is Abe Jenkins, something like that. And I haven't been following the comic books in the past few years. But, you know, she's just a very cool character that I've seen come up in comic book covers and stuff. But just looks cool. Glad to have her, like I said. And let's get into the articulation, guys. All right, now getting into the articulation, let's go start with the head, of course, right? I got the head goes right to left. Now, it's a, under a hinge. There's a neck hinge there, but, you know, all the hinges rotate. But uh, we can't pick the head all the way up. I'm afraid to pop the head off if I go too much further. But it, there is some range of motion down there. you got to force it a little bit, and that looks kind of weird. Whose neck does that? If your neck does that when you look down, you should see a chiropractor. Right? But uh, back up there. Got an awesome diaphragm joint here. And the cool thing about the diaphragm joint, this is on a ball joint. And it goes back so it can make that flight pose for her. You know, some dynamic posing options here. It goes down and, you know, goes left to right with ease. It doesn't need, it doesn't need to go all the way. There's no app crunch like we normally see with the guys. But I think this diaphragm joint works very nicely with the women because it keeps that figure that we all love. We got the shoulders, shoulder hinge here. Up and down, rotates. Right, go side to side about that far. And to the back, so I have no complaints there. We got the elbow joint. You can see the elbow here. We got a hinge and rotates. So, also with the hand, you see the hand had a little hinge there. Say, bam. Talk to the hand, baby. Oh, she wants to palm a basketball, whatever she does with that hand. Same thing for both arms. And we go on down. Got a little. This is as far as her leg can go to the side, which might be hindered from this sculpt here of her little skirt. Which isn't too bad. I'm not complaining because most of the time when I have her pose like this, you know, in a flight pose, she got a thigh rotation on both legs here too. And she has a double jointed knee here where we have a hinge on the top and a hinge on the bottom of the knee, which is pretty cool to make that a uh, you know, really flexible knee bend. All right? We go on down to the foot. We got a hinge on the foot. It goes up and down and there's a little ankle rocker here as you can see there. So I love when all the figures have this ankle rocker, ankle, ankle pivot, because then they could really stand with their legs as far apart as possible, even though this is a horrible pose. But you see what I'm saying? With the pivot there, it really helps. It really helps, you know, keep them standing. Um, and also, let's. so we got the arms. We got, you know, we spoke about everything pretty much, and her wings. These pretty wings that we saw with the wasp again. Let me just show you. Comes right off pops right on we got a hinge joint there and we got two wings we got the little baby wing and the big wing and be careful there they rotate like this they can go side to side they can go back up down so a lot of options here very articulated wings which is very which are very cool you want to make her fly you can put it back or cover up like that so pretty awesome pretty awesome so that's the articulation and you know uh, and going back to the paint, you know, besides this little splotchiness, just looking at her, you know, they don't, Marvel Legends doesn't tend to put a lot of sculpting into the outfit. I mean, here we have sculpting there just for that pretty much and everything else is painted on. You know, other toy companies would actually sculpt on this leg sleeve or whatever you want to call it. But here it's painted on. So whatever. The paint, I'm not complaining about it. Got a little, like I said, that, that little uh, marbleized pearlescent. Uh, what do you call it? Purple paint. But the paint is pretty even. Evenly painted. You see? Besides that annoying... Uh, you don't know how annoyed I am with that, but I'll let it go. And you can see the sculpt here going down her suit. Little lines on her suit. So that's cool. You got some sculpting detail there. You got the straps going up. And the straps are actually painted pretty well for as thin as they are. You see a little bleed. It's hard to tell here, but... You see the green on her chest. There's a little bit of a bleed through the purple. Right? Not too bad. Nothing to complain about. Again, we got the painted detail here. And they seem pretty evenly distributed. Very nice, clean lines here on the side, even though it's painted on. See? So no complaints there. And again, with the marble, it's easier to see with the forearm here. You see that marbleized, that, that deal they got going on over there. I would love to see how they manufacture it, like just why it does that. But it does look cool. It does look cool. I'm not complaining. And the um, 
you know, the eyes are painted very nicely. You got the yellow eyes here. Look at that. Look at it. Very even. Sometimes you got one eye higher than the other. This one, no. Her Wolverine mask eyes, I'm um, very happy with. And in the back, same deal. It's pretty nice in the back. I'm not complaining. Very nice. So, very good work with the paint job here. Besides that little splotchy, I'm happy with the paint. I'm very happy with the sculpt. They can use the sculpt a billion times for the women, and you're not going to get any complaints from me. And I love the articulation so far, so she's doing pretty well. And, uh, you know, overall, I'm very happy to have her in my collection. She's one of those obscure characters, like people going down the toy aisle and not going to be like, Oh, snap, it's Beetle. It's Marvel's female Beetle. No, they're not going to be talking like that. <laughs> they're not going to be thinking like that. But, uh, you know, as a completionist, as somebody who loves Marvel Comics, who's loved the Marvel Legends line for many years since its, its inception, and before that with the Spider-Man classic, Spider-Man line, you know, back when Toy Biz was ruling the roost, I'm just happy to have more characters. You know, we get enough Spider-Man, we get enough Captain Americas and Wolverines and yada, yada, yada. I'm so happy to have these obscure, uh, you know, characters that run around the Marvel Universe and complete those collections. So can't wait to put her on my shelf with the Spider-Man villains or... Wherever I'm going to put it, I guess with the Spider-Man foes, right? She is a superior foe of Spider-Man. And that is Marvel's Beetle. So, just as a recap, got Marvel Legends, Spider-Man Legends, Absorbing Man Wave, Superior Foes of Spider-Man, Beetle. Who, I, I don't have many complaints, guys. I actually like this video very much. The one thing I didn't like was just that little paint splotch at the top of the head. But the way I'm going to be displaying it, you're going to see the front of her face, her beautiful face with those beautiful eyes, and it's going to look sweet. I'd like to talk about displayability and playability. Now, displayability is the way me and a lot of adult collectors play with our toys. So they're kind of, uh, you know, one and the same. Uh, I pose my figures. I figure out what I like, how I want them to fit in with my collection. And then I display them. And as you can see behind me, I have a lot of figures displayed. I don't go around banging my toys together like I used to, like we used to when we were younger, right guys? Uh, but if you wanted to do that, that's very cool. Um, and you can definitely play with these figures. The way Marvel Legends plastic is very durable, very tough plastic. You can throw them, you can bang them, you can slam them in a wrestling ring, mix them with your WWE figures. You can really go to war like they do in the comic books. And you'll probably get some paint scratches. I don't, I'm not too worried about them breaking. Very sturdy. So Marvel Legends, for those of you moms out there that want to shop when you're going down the aisles and you're not sure if your little eight-year-old kid wants a Marvel Legend, pick it up for them. They're going to love it. Uh, I guarantee. But uh, yeah, we got Marvel's Beetle. I'm very happy with this figure and I will be displaying her very proudly in my collection, most likely with the Spider-Man villains. And uh, thank you so much for checking out this video, guys. Like, subscribe, comment and share. You know what to do. Peace.